Hey everybody, today we're checking out Dr. Blankenstein's Atari Punk Console Deluxe 2.0. Quickly running top to bottom, I want to point out some of the old features and new features from version 1.5 going to 2.0. Of course up top here we have our standard Atari Punk Console knob control. Underneath these switches correspond to the motion light sensors up top. Um, effectively we have three sets of body contacts. These two correspond to this knob, these two when touch correspond to that knob, and then these two over here are ran through a special Dr. Blankenstein germanium diode circuit. Um, they can be used in combination, some of them will mute, some of them will they all do different things when they're combined with each other. Uh, that's just kind of how they're ran through the circuit. One of the coolest things changing from 1.5 to 2.0 here, something of a surprise a lot of people hadn't thought of before, including myself. Um, but now we have a, a momentary switch for stutters. So, so we don't have to run the Atari Punk console constantly. Uh, of course, we have a normal on and off switch over here. Um, the graphics have been improved and are tighter than ever. Um, as you can see, uh, we went with the Atari Punk uh, 2600 kind of style. Uh, the Atari 2600. Uh, as always, all pieces are numbered. Um, looking gorgeous inside and out. Gotta say, if you're looking for an Atari Punk console deluxe, um, it's probably one of the nicest one out there. Uh, it's got the most features. Uh, over here we have our control voltage input, um, which you could use this with a modular synthesis or anything with an external sequencer, uh, which sends control voltage. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, of course our quarter inch output running off a 9 volt battery and a really nifty color changing LED um, and a volume control. Alright, let's turn her on. Mm -hmm. 